Praise the Lord, good night, good things in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this night to, to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation or world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of the world isn't that awesome isn't that greater isn't that mighty isn't that majestic my friends that god himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making my friends he says a thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at the right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. Welcome tonight. Uh, let's give a Lord a big hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He promised to be with the believers in every situation and circumstances. My friends, sincerely, from my heart tonight, uh, I release the blessing upon your life. I always release a blessing upon your life and I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every year in your life. I pray that God will bless you and prosper you and whatever you do it shall prosper. Yes my friends I release a blessing upon your homes tonight. I release a blessing upon your children. I release a blessing upon Upon your marriage, I release a blessing upon your finances, I release a blessing upon your business, and I pray that God will bless you in every area of your life tonight. Isn't that awesome in Jesus' name? Let's give the Lord a big hand for his blessings tonight. My friends, beloved, I cover you under the precious blood of Jesus, for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious. And the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Tonight, my friends, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, yes, antichrist spirit, de demonic forces, every generation of curses, that come against your life, I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus. I break every generation of curse, whether it be first, second, third, or fourth generation. I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus. I break every chain. I break every barrier. I break every fetter. I break every evil and every work of darkness. Whom the Son set free is free indeed. You are free. Free in the name of Jesus. Let's give a Lord a big hand tonight. You are free, my friends. But Jesus Christ says in his words, the thief cometh, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy what Christ comes, that we might have life and life more abundantly. My friends, Christ Jesus wants to give us life and life in abundance, but the devil wants to rob us. But tonight, my friends, I'm here to remind you that the first covenant Jesus Christ made with man was a covenant of healing. Yes, for he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes and heal you are healed we are healed in jesus name isn't that awesome let's give him a hand tonight yes my friends jesus christ is our healer tonight he is still in the healing business and tonight my friends those who are sick tonight i want to introduce you to the healer is the healer and that's Jesus Christ tonight. He's going to touch you and heal you from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. But I will pray for you at the end of the service tonight. My friends, there are a lot of things on my mind tonight, but I must get into the word of God. But before I get into the word of God, 
I have something to say to America. Yes, America is uh, the USA. America is making history. They have made history with, with, with the flood. Uh, just uh, about uh, the, the weekend in Christmas week in 2022, where in New York, New York City, in the city of Buffalo, they make history where they break a record of a hundred years with the flood and the, 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 the snow and with all of the bomb cyclone and the storm they had there. They break big history that did, did not happen in a hundred years. And today America has made history. Yes, in the house floor, in the, in the house floor today. Yes, in America, in the voting for the, the, the house speaker. Yes, my friends, they have made history for the voting one two, three, four times they voted and they cannot get the house speaker. Yes, my friends, because the covering of God is off of them and the spirit of the Antichrist is taking over. Yes, yes, Kevin McCarthy, yes, who's supposed to be the speaker of the house and yet only 91% of the Republicans that vote for him. The Bible tells us a house divided cannot stand. A house divided cannot stand. They are allowing the spirit of the Antichrist to take control and causing chaos and confusion. What a shame and disgrace. It is not a good example for the world. What is happening they may break a record of a hundred years. It has never happened in history my friends it is time that these people stop being selfish and come together in one accord and save america from destroying Florida because the spirit of the antichrist wants to destroy america but if people don't have god the america will be destroyed yes you need to have god in you and don't let the antichrist overtake you tomorrow at the voting i trust the lord that they will vote for Kevin McCarthy, McCarthy tomorrow, and that, that will be settled to be the house, the, 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 the speaker of the house tomorrow. Yes, in the house. Yes, my friends, and that is very important for America to come out of the situation you're in, or else the Antichrist will destroy that country in a very short time. Tonight, my friends, let me get clear into the word of God. It's a time for us to wake up and that the clear sign times are being upon us and we do not realize that the signs are upon us. Yes, and it's time for us to wake up. Wake up out of your sleep, my friends. The devil is taking control of the world. Yes, even Israel right now. Yes, the new president, that the new prime minister that's swearing for the third time, Benjamin Netanyahu. Yes, he says he has had chats with the Messiah, and that's a false Messiah. Tomorrow I'm going to speak about that false Messiah, but tonight I want to preach about the signs we're giving to us to wake up out of our sleep. I believe it is time for us to wake up tonight. Are you ready to wake up out of your slumber and sleep and see the Antichrist is about to take up the world? Yes, it's time time for us to be vigilant my friends and I to be to be ready because it's either the Lord will appear in the twinkling of an eye for or each of us will appear before him yes my friends in an instant we need to understand one way or another tonight it's time for us to wake up tonight Wake up tonight, be ready, be ready and stay ready tonight. The day of the Lord is, is very near. The day of the Lord is very near. We don't want to be caught sleeping like those in the world. Yes, the Bible says that he is coming. He is coming like a thief in the night. Yes, and will, will you be ready tonight? That's a great question. Or you will be blown down by the cares of this world. The cares of this world, you'll be ready. Will you be ready or will you be found to be caught up in the pleasures of this world, my friends? Hallelujah. Will you be ready? Will you be ready or will you allow anger? Greed, anger, greed, envy, or sin, sin to distract you from, from what really matters tonight, my friends, what really matters, we spend a lot of time thinking, thinking and thinking 
about our future is not so thinking about uh, your husband or wife tonight. Yes, we are always thinking about how to make more money, how to save more money. It's not true. There are almost never a moment in time when we are not thinking. It's not so, my friends, but what if all your thoughts were exposed for all to see tonight? What if your thoughts were on full display tonight and everyone can read your thought? What will they be shameful thoughts? Will they be disturbed? Will they disturb many people? Will they have reflected a golden character tonight, my friends? Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13 says, Yes, nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight tonight. Everything is uncovered, my friends, is uncovered and laid bare. Yes, be will it be buried before his eyes. I can I give I can give a come take a minute tonight to examine your thought. Ask yourself tonight why do I think the way I do tonight? My friends, does it line up with the word of God? tonight. My friends, does it glorify the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you living as though you you know your days are numbered, my friends? Are you sorting up treasure in heaven for the few days you have left here on earth? My friends, are you fighting and striving to crucify your flesh daily my friends are you practicing the love of God in your life and seeking to do good instead of evil tonight my friends many of us have situations that make us feel like times won't ever change my friends some of us may even be clinging clinging on to certain things certain things certain people bad habits or private sins but let me tell you i want to make this urgent announcement tonight to you and i pray that you hear me loud and clear tonight my friends you don't have time you don't have time to be holding on to friends who are pulling you into sin tonight my friends you, you my friends don't have time to be tolerating those things that pollute your mind tonight with loss and unclean thoughts my friends the lord wants us to be free to be free from bondage and oppression he came he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly that's the reason he came but it's up to us tonight to receive the gift of freedom which he offers us my friends take a look around you tonight my friends and see the signs of the times the signs of the times they are famines pestilences and in Increased number of natural disasters in our world and rumors of war. Right now, there are natural disasters all over the world, everywhere. The final prophecies of the Bible are being fulfilled before our very eyes. Wake up! Christ is soon to be returned. My friends, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, we we have the obvious sign, my friends. About the, the last days, yes, we know men. Men will be lovers of self. Yes, and very selfish. We told that dangerous times will come, and there will be famines and pestilences and rumors of war. But did you not know that uh, makers, uh, mankind's, are uh, there? Are a sign of the last days people who question the coming of the lord yes are a sign of the last days my friends where 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 is this jesus you speak of or they say my friends he has shown up for hundreds of years so where is he yes that 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 is a, a mocker will say a mocker will say yes each and every day we are drawing closer closer and closer to the return of the lord jesus christ yes very soon the trumpet of the lord will sound don't let the corrupt 
time of the time for you my friends yes the amplified translation for james chapter 4 verse 14 says tonight that let you do not know that that the last thing about that may happen in your lifetime tomorrow my friends what is secure in your life tonight you are merely a vapor yes a vapor like a puff of smoke or a whips whip of stream my friends for a cooking pot up visible for a little while <coughs> and then vanishes into thin air tonight my friends i would like to draw your attention tonight to second peter chapter 3 verse 3 to 4 tells us it says and amplified translation says what it says first of all no without without no doubt that mockers will come mockers will come in the last days with the mock King, mocking the gospel, falling after their own human desires, and saying, Where, where is the promise of this, of his coming? What has become of it? My friends, they are saying, For ever since the fathers fell asleep in death, all things have continued exactly as they did from the beginning of beginning of creation but tonight my friends a mocker is someone who jeers and scoff at something how many mockers do we have in this present day today yes my friends people who do do what they do out of arrogance and pride tonight they think they are intelligent yes in fact they stand to try and reason against the bible because because as we have just read my friends a mocker will question the coming of the lord jesus christ they will question the promise of christ returning for the church they will question so so many things they will question the validity of God's word and say tonight our ancestors are dead and buried and yet everything is still the same as as it is it was from since the beginning of time until now they will say thank thank you they want you to question the word of God my friends tonight but we should resist such a person protect your feet tonight protect yourself my friends by not exposing yourself to people tonight who purposely come to rip you up and said instead focus on living a life that is pure living a life that is pure and pleasing to jesus christ focus on doing all you can to put this flesh my friends on the subjection tonight yes in fact tonight the bible tells us how to prepare for the coming of the lord yes second peter chapter 3 verse 14 to 15 they for beloved beloved since you are waiting for those for these be diligent to be found by him without spot or blemish tonight and at peace god want us to be at peace and come the patience of our lord as a salvation just as our beloved brother paul also wrote that wrote to you according to the wisdom given him my friends we tonight as children of god should be found spotless spotless and blameless in peace in peace peace that is inward calm with a sense of spiritual well-being tonight and confidence having lived having lived a life of obedience to him my friends yes god wants us to live a life of obedience to him and make sure that we are walking in his ways because we are living in the very end time and anytime soon the trumpet of the lord will sound and the dead in Christ shall rise, and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord God in the air. Whatever we are seeing tonight, my friends, all across the world with natural disasters, not only in 
in America and Canada, well, all across the world. We see all over the world what is happening right now. It is the end times. It is the time when God is pouring out his wrath upon the earth. My friends, we need to be ready. It's a time the preparation for the rule and reign of the Antichrist of the one world government, the one world ruler. It's a time and reign for the Antichrist and to tomorrow I'm going to speak on my friends what is happening in Israel right now and why Benjamin Netanyahu has returned the third time as prime minister for Israel. Yes, he says he's having conversation and conversation with the Messiah. What Messiah did Benjamin Netanyahu is speaking about? It is a false Messiah and tomorrow night. And in fact, tomorrow night, I'm going to speak directly about that. And the world needs to prepare for what is coming. My friends, we are living in the very end times. And the world is changing so fast. Yes, it is changing very fast. And you need to be prepared. My friends, I always say before I finish, sometimes I have a few questions. Tonight, I want to ask you a question. Are you saved? Is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Have you accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Do you know? My friends, if you pass from this life where you're going, God has given us a free choice. Make sure you make your selection sure and know where you're going when you pass from this life. Is either two places, is either heaven or hell. My friends, make sure that you know where you're going tonight. I know many are sick unto death and your fear of death is upon your life because the doctors have given you a bill and a report and says you will not live you will die but my friends as a prophet and a preacher tonight i'm here to tell you that you will not die but you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny as i feel a tremendous anointing of the holy spirit in this room tonight and i know god gonna touch you and heal you and set you free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every book of darkness tonight is your night for a miracle yes if there is a hole in your heart and the doctor says you will not live you will die if you have cancer in your body and the cancer has eaten up your inside and the doctor says there is no hope Nothing can help you any longer. You only have a few days or a few weeks more to live. Take him home or take her home. She will die. No, you will not die, my friends. Those of you who have been waiting for a kidney transplant, your kidneys have shut down. Both kidneys have shut down and there is no hope for you to receive a replacement kidney. My friends, God is giving you brand new kidneys tonight. God, the Holy Spirit is working in your body and creating new kidneys in your body. Yes, that alcoholic person tonight, your liver has swinged up and dry up and the doctors told you that there is no hope for you, you will die. God is giving you a brand new, yes, brand new liver tonight and you will not die but you will live. Those of you who who are who have AIDS? Yes, and you're dying in your dying stage. God gonna heal your body from all those sicknesses and pain and disease, my friends. Tonight, if you're traveling with a migraine headache and no painkiller can help you, God is touching you and taking away that pain tonight. If you're suffering with diabetes, yes, and sugar in the system and you're pining away tonight God is restoring your blood tonight and purging your blood you will not die but you will live in the mighty name of Jesus those of you who have arthritis pain in all your joints in the fingers in your, on your elbows and knees and on your feet every part of your joint and you're using all that you can even you're using all 
drugs today but the nothing is helping you my friends i'm here to tell you that you will be healed completely tonight you will be set free those who are blind if you're blind you're deaf you're dumb you you're late to tonight i want to introduce you to the healer jesus christ is still in the healing business and he's going to touch you and heal you those who are suffering tonight from oppression depression frustration anxiety yes all form of sicknesses and if you have a weak bladder tonight yes god gonna restore and restore your health tonight whatever sickness you're suffering from tonight you will be healed tonight in the mighty name of jesus those who who are demon possessed tonight i see in the spirit realm those demons are fleeing right now those demons that have been tormenting you in 2022 and they come in your life for this new year those demons are fleeing right now they're leaving you right now because the bible says demons tremble at the name of jesus and demons have to go in the name of jesus and in the blood of jesus i drive out those demons from your body tonight you will be free but make sure you accept jesus christ as your lord and savior i see miracles start to happen right now but i'm going to send for the anointing in the fullness god says in his words we as preachers, prophets, pastors, evangelists, teachers, what the title you have tonight, it doesn't matter. God says we must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. But he also said in his words, he is, he is no respect of persons. There is no distance of buyers where prayers is concerned. And tonight, my friends, wherever you are, if you are in the USA, my friends, you are in the UK, Canada, and the Caribbean, you are in Japan, China, yes, uh, Italy, any part of the world tonight, uh, and you hear my voice, uh, you will be healed and delivered. You will receive a miracle from the hands of God. If you're suffering tonight uh, with a new variant of the COVID variant, uh, yes, that is coming out right now, BF7 and BA5. If you're sick with those viruses right now, in the name of Jesus, God is burning out those disease because sickness and disease and plague, my friends, and pandemic is not of God. It is the work of darkness. And tonight, God is burning out those sicknesses and disease that you will not die but you will live you will live tonight in the name of jesus are you ready tonight my friends i'm going to send for the anointing in the fullness in a few seconds but i want to lift your feet tonight jesus said in his words yes if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed you shall say to the mountains be thou removed and cast henceforth into the sea and it will obey you tonight my friends, if you have faith tonight, you will be healed completely. And right now, in the name of Jesus, yes, right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see demons are fleeing right now. I see people are being healed from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities. My friends and beloved, it is the work of God. It is the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, God has done a work tonight. My friends, write me, text me and call me. And let me know what God has done for you because of time tonight. I cannot call up your sicknesses, but I know, I know that God has touched you. I know that God has healed you. I know that you've been delivered from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease. Let's give the Lord a big hand for the healing tonight. Let's give the Lord a big hand for the deliverance tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, my friends and beloved, I love you very much. In the love of God, do have a sweet and wonderful night rest. I'll see you tomorrow. By the grace of God, I love you very much. God bless you richly in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Glory, honor, praise, and thanks be unto the holy and matchless name. Amen and amen.